This is the Lose Team SP Skipping and Pitching Reel. It's been out about a year and a lot of reviews out there, and I'll go over some of the basics with it, but really what I wanna talk about today is setting it up. As it says in the title of this video, skipping jigs or skipping lures with zero backlashes. So I spent a lot of time playing with this reel today and I wanna go over the setup that I did, the setup that I used, so you can go ahead and skip this jig, skip a frog, skip a tube, whatever, and you don't even need to put your thumb right here on the spool. I know I was super nervous the first time, so go ahead. let's go ahead and go over some of the basics. So on this side here, um, you've got your magnetic brake. Okay, this centrifugal brake is on the inside. They do have it labeled for skipping, the skipping zone, which is from five up until 10. I've got mine set on seven. But the first thing, the most important thing with this particular step or any bait cast reel that you have is getting the spool tension done correctly and let me go ahead and show you what I am talking about here. So the most important part is this spool tension knob. So you're going to notice here when I depress the lever here that this jig is going to fall and it is barely barely moving. But what I'm looking for is when it falls it hits the water and stops without the spool continuing to go. Now this is pretty see that stops right there spool stops. That is pretty tight, all right? But when you're skipping, it's so critically important to get this set up right. Once you have that done with this reel that is designed for skipping like this, this brake system is good enough, you do not need to have your thumb right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it, all right? So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go roll cast and skip it out this way without my thumb on the spool at all. No backlash. And this spool on here has got room for about a 40 yards of 20 pound test, okay? You don't need a lot of line when you're skipping, but I was still able to skip this lure probably 30, 35 feet, all right? We'll go ahead and try it again. No backlash whatsoever. So it absolutely works, it absolutely can be done. And when I was messing with this earlier, adjusting the magnetic brake on the outside, I was going anywhere from five to 10 and it was working fine. The most important part is that spool tension. With this particular setup and this braking system, you can be so accurate so quickly. That's probably the one thing that has really jumped out at me. Now I will say, if you go to skip and you pile drive this jig or whatever straight down into the water, yes, it's going to backlash. Okay, that absolutely is gonna happen. You've gotta have that good roll cast motion, that low rod tip, and then make sure that lure lands out away from you a ways and it will not backlash if you have it set up correctly. And probably the last thing to mention with this, when you are skipping like this, it's very important to have a rod that is matched. This one here is the KVD GC5. Okay, it is a dock skipping frog type of a rod. It's a medium heavy power rating. It is not the heavy like you would normally associate with pitching into some, some thick brush, but it has an extra fast action. So matching the rod with the reel is extremely important. All right, we'll see if we can do this one more time without a thumb on the spool at all. Look at that. Absolutely unbelievable, a great setup. I do have links to this particular reel down below in the description. And if you would like to watch a video that talks about what I feel are the four easiest lures to skip, go ahead and watch this one right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.